This is Mike Callis reporting for Chicago Indy Media. Today is May 24th, 2014, and we were in downtown Chicago covering the march against Monsanto. The event was organized by the Organic Consumers Association along with Illinois Right to Know GMO, an alliance with a number of other participating organizations, including Food and Water Watch, the Illinois Institute for Responsible Technology, Illinois Fair Trade Coalition, Green Spirit Living, the Peer Health Center, Northwest Food Partners Network, Food Democracy Now!, and even an appearance from the Chicago Bees Street Theater Group. The rally began at Federal Plaza with representatives of different organizations speaking against Monsanto and against GMOs. Then the crowd marched to different places in the city that are responsible for GMOs, including the local FDA office, the Chicago Board of Trade, the Thompson Center, and the corporate offices of Fidelity Mutual Funds. Then the march took a scenic route down Michigan Avenue. Many onlookers showed their support for the cause, honking their horns, signing petitions, and stopping to take pictures. With over a thousand people marching in the street, I came to find out why so many people don't like Monsanto. I interviewed a number of people on the street to hear what they had to say. Uh, specifically, my sign refers to Agent Orange, which is responsible for the deaths of over 400,000 people in Vietnam and it's still causing um, birth defects in children in Vietnam today. And so uh, it's important to remember that they're behind Agent Orange and now they're trying to get into our food supply and trying to uh, control what we eat. And I don't really want a company behind Agent Orange uh, growing my food. I'm a retired military officer and one thing we should remember is Monsanto got involved in the Vietnam War with Agent Orange. <laughs> for our war veterans, and then everybody ignored it. What's wrong with Monsanto? We want They're to killing us. us! Monsanto is essentially killing us, and my fears about Monsanto is their products override the natural ecology. They take over other plants, they kill them off, and then uh, they even poison our DNA. So it's literally threatening the planet's ecology, not just our health. But you're passing on this damage when you eat these products to your children and your children's children. This is very, very serious. We are out here to, to let people know that they must not eat or buy genetically engineered food that is untested, unlabeled, and illegal. It should never have been on the market. We are looking at a at a Food and Drug Administration that is apparently at the th in the thrall of the biotech industry in that it will not insist that before they go to market genetically engineered foods be tested adequately for safety and be labeled. awareness and for public education. We're looking for support for legislation both at the state and federal level to label genetically engineered foods. Put a label on it. Let us know what we're eating. Let us know the chemicals. Let us choose what toxins we put in our bodies. Hey, hey! Go, go. This is poison, this is food-like products, but this is not food. And everybody needs to be educated. We can make other choices. And you can start a revolution and change our economy just by starting to grow vegetables in your own garden. We don't buy GMO foods. We buy local organic vegetables from small farmers. So we also use our consumer purchasing power to not give them any more money. So you have to constantly do the research and be conscious of how you're spending your money. Your money is what's running this economy. That's what they want. Don't give it to them unless they're giving you what you want and what will help you, your future, and your children. After speaking with people throughout the day, their demands were pretty simple. Label GMOs. People want to know what they are eating. And people want the choice to choose GMO foods or not. 
Until GMOs have been proven safe by the FDA's own standards, people want these illegal GMOs taken off the market. GMO products have never been adequately tested and approved and have already hit the market without ever studying the potential health consequences. The plan of action is to divest from Monsanto now. Vote with your dollars. Take all your money out of the company and don't ever buy their products again. The people's message is, put your money where your mouth is. There are a number of ways to take action and to get more involved Join the March Against Monsanto, Chicago.